Hey everybody, it's Brian at Summit Racing, and in this part of the video, we're gonna show you how to install a windage tray and the Summit cast aluminum oil pan. It's a pretty cool deal the moment when you have your short block all done, clearances are checked, everything is spinning really nice, and you're ready to basically say, bye-bye rotating assembly, I don't wanna see you again for another 100,000 miles. So there are a couple things in here that are pretty cool about this video because the clearances with a four inch stroker can be a little bit tight, you know, between the uh, the windage tray to the rotating assembly, from the pickup tube to the windage tray, and then really even from the pickup tube to the pan itself. So there's a few little areas here that are a little bit tight. We cover all of them here in this upcoming videos. So with that, to get more of these types of videos, be sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell, and all that good stuff. We are going to install next the Summit LS cast oil pan set. It's, uh, it's really complete. Uh, we'll show you a little bit more about it and give you all the part numbers. Uh, the other part that we're gonna use for this install is the GM Chevrolet Performance four inch stroker windage tray. This is nice because it clears a four inch stroker crank no problem. You can space up a normal windage tray and it works, it's, it's okay, but this one right out of the box is exactly what we need. Uh, from there, we've got our oil pump and oil pump pickup and the oil pump pickup goes basically right there and our oil pump on the oil pump gear. And we're gonna go ahead and get all of that in place. Uh, we did find a couple areas here. We, we did this a little bit earlier where it's gonna be a little bit tight to the inside and you're gonna to have to persuade it a little bit. One is right here. Uh, it's a kind of a high spot in the system and it gets pretty close to the back of the, uh, the inside. We'll go ahead and take you to that point of the oil pan where it gets a little tight. If you want to take a look down here, this is our oil pump pickup tube. And this is a, uh, it's not the normal windage tray, but it's another one here just right around the sump. Right here in this area, you're going to want to push this down as far as it'll go uh, against basically the casting itself. And then uh, it didn't take too much work at all and it's, it's fine. Just something that you're going to want to take a look at when you uh, go to assemble your engine. All right, so the shirt block's assembled. We put the cam in, degreed the cam in, and it was perfect right out of the box. Uh, the next step is to go ahead and get the bottom end buttoned up. The parts that we're going to use for that is the Summit LS cast oil pan. Fits a wide variety of applications and it's cool because it fits with a factory windage tray as well. It clears nice. We rotated the engine over 360 degrees. It's not even close to touching any of the rotating assembly. Uh, this is the oil pickup tube that comes with the Summit oil pan kit. This is the Melling 10355 high volume, high pressure pump. Uh, one thing that you will want to do uh, when you're installing the pickup tube here is use a high pressure lube uh, grease uh, basically to get that uh, o-ring fit down inside because these these bolts are fairly small and this is an aluminum casting and you don't want to strip those out so by using the lube uh, that o-ring passes right through there no problem and it's just no problem to draw those bolts down at all um, i will go ahead and zip the tray down and we will move to the next step of installing the pan And finally, last step, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get this oil pump uh, torqued down. Uh, the factory bolts uh, go to a spec of 18 foot-pounds. We're using ARP bolts, it's a stronger bolt, and because of that, it needs a, a few more foot-pounds uh, to go ahead and hit the stretch that it wants.
So we hope you enjoyed that video. We've got a lot of videos in this series where we started off with the bare block and just started filling it up with really good parts. And we're going all the way through doing a finished assembled engine and even putting it on the dyno. So if you want to see the next segment in this series, go ahead and be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell.